Hey there, welcome to my channel. I'm Daniel Norton, photographer here in New York, and I asked you, how did I like this? This is a series I do on my channel here where I put up some work, some older work, some newer work, and I put it out there. How do you think I lit it? And also, how would you light it? So this image is really fun. It's actually one of those things that's simple, yet you have to think about it a little bit. We were going for that on-camera flash, in the moment, fashion model on set look. This is probably 10 years old or more, this image. And huh, weird side story, I was wearing that shirt and, <laughs> and the model had the pants that matched the earrings that were on Mr. T, like the color wise. And I was like, oh man. And I like went back and, and you know switched to a black shirt. And I've always been wearing a black shirt since. But anyways, um, she put this on and did her lips up nice and red. And what I wanted was to really focus on that. So how do we get color to pop? I'll also say this was shot on film. This was shot with a roll of flex. So a couple things, obviously film choice, but hard light tends to create contrast. Contrast, if not overexposed, obviously, tends to create saturation. So what we did here was I used a light it's basically, it's pretty close. It's not a beauty dish. It's actually a magnum reflector, but it's a hard light. You probably could use a beauty dish for this. It's basically shaped like that if you don't know what a magnum reflector looks like. And it's coming and it's lighting basically her face and most of her body. It's pretty close to her. And the giveaway here is this shadow, right? Right here. That is the remainder of the shadow that's not filled in, which is the second part of this. The part of it that makes the image just not blunt and in your face like you might get if you were just using an on-camera flash, right? So behind me and backed up far enough to cover the whole wall and to give uh, effect is an octa. So it's a five foot octagon. If you've not seen an octa box before, it basically looks like an octagon. Did I, draw, did I just draw a octagon? Did I draw a hex? Anyways, this is behind me. So if you think about the set, the model is against the wall. There's a light coming down here, lighting her face. I'm over here with the camera. And behind me is this large light. This is filling in all the shadow, which is how we basically just have that one little hard shadow. I guess in an ideal world, if her chin was up a little bit higher, it would have filled in all that shadow. But I just love this expression. It was just a fun expression. The red lips, the saturation worked where her tongue got really super saturated as well. We have that tie in very nicely with Mr. T's earrings and her tights. And then if we look at the, her skin tone versus the uh, the color of the shirt, her hair, all the color works here. So it's incredibly simple. It's a simple, simple color palette. But, you know, sometimes when things are simple, it, they're, you know, also complex, right? There's more to a shot like this than just taking an on-camera flash and having a model yell at the camera. You can have a very unsuccessful shot if you just do that. But when you look at color, when you think about mood, when you have feeling, also the way I composed it with space around her, right? She's feeling very compacted. That's all important and all part of the shot. So something you have to consider. I know this is primarily about the lighting, but I think that's important. We sometimes have to think about that. So where, did you get this one right? I would love to know. Go ahead, comment below. What do you think? If you didn't guess and you like this technique or don't like this technique, let me know as well. I'd love to know. Down in the description, you will find a link to my Discord server if you want to sign up over there and join the conversation. Also, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel so you can get more videos like this. I'll talk to you soon.